Credit card companies are ringing in the new year trying to find ways to charge you more money. That's because part two of the federal credit card law kicks in this February. Here to help us navigate through the new rules and all that it means is our financial contributor, Vera Gibbons. It doesn't mean good things. It doesn't mean good things. <laughs> no. So let's go back. First of all, it's the Credit Card Act of 2009 right. trying to limit these credit card companies. From doing all those nasty things that they've been doing, like raising rates unexpectedly. Um, more, The new reform is going into effect in February. We've already, already had the first wave of the reform. Here's the thing. Credit card companies don't like this reform. They mm -hmm. don't want this reform. They're going to lose $7 billion because of these changes. So they're finding new ways to get money elsewhere. They're to finding ways the to get that $7 billion That's right. back. Okay. And the first one is the change in the interest rate and how they charge you. Right. One thing they're doing here is they're switching fixed rate cards to variable rate cards because when the changes go into place, they're not going to be able to raise those rates on fixed cards just on a whim. Mm -hmm. Fixed rate cards have to stay fixed for at least a year unless consumers fail to pay their bills. So the way around it, let's just switch people over to variable rate cards. So you could have a promotional rate, a very good rate of 6.99 fixed, and all of a sudden you've got a 19.9% variable rate card. It's, it's almost like before. It's really bad. I mean, you can opt out, but only if you're willing to close your account, and that could wreak havoc on your credit score. And good luck finding another fixed rate card, because in, in this new environment, there's going to be fewer of them and mm -hmm. more variable rate cards there's out there. not going to be one. And they want you to be hooked to this credit card, to use it all the time, right? <laughs> Ideally. <laughs> and if you don't use it, you're going to be hit with inactivity fees. This is another thing that's happening as well. If you don't use, first of all, some of, them, some of them are closing accounts, but soon they could be charging inactivity fees, maybe $19 a month if you don't actually use Use your card so you're penalized for not using it. So the old advice we always used to say, put the credit card on ice, doesn't apply. You really have to keep your cards active. They try, they're trying to make sure that you keep using it. And whether you use it or not, something that's old, I remember this from, I don't know, 10 or 20 years ago, annual rates, right. annual, fees. annual fees. This is something we haven't seen in a couple of years. Citibank is going to start charging annual fees to some customers up to $90 if you don't charge at least $2,400 a year. Bank of America following suit, testing this out and some uh, for some customers as well. Mm -hmm. Just a crazy way to make up for the shortfall. Man, that's just outrageous. And then, of course, this one seems the most outrageous of all, and that is you get penalties for paying down or paying right. off your credit card. And this is the time of year people try to transfer it over to the 0% offers out there. Here's the thing. A couple of years ago, these offers were everywhere. You could transfer your high debt uh, rate uh, it, credit uh, over to the 0% card. There was no fee. And if there was a fee, it was capped at under $100. Now, you've got a shorter time, six months for the 0% versus a year for the 0% offer, mm -hmm. and 70% of the balance transfer offers now have no limits on fees. Yeah. So Chase is charging, in some cases, up to 5% of your balance to transfer it over. $10,000 in debt, it's costing you $500 right there. You're $500 right in the hole for, for transferring an average of 0% offer. You would have thought that this act would have thought about some of these lo loopholes. You can drive a truck through Anytime them. Anytime there's legislation, they find a new way to actually get you. So they're sending these notices out in the mail. You want to read the fine print because what you don't know could cost you. Yeah, and you have one of those letters. I've already gotten them. They when, spell when it out loud here. Of these, <laughs> read read it. it. All right, Vera Gibbons, thank you so Thanks, much. Thanks, Debbie. All right, for more about Vera's credit card tips, go to our website, earlyshow.cbsnews.com.